Thanks to global warming, fresh water is vanishing, and that poses a major threat to the future of food manufacturers like PepsiCo, Coca-Cola, and General Mills. The statistics are worrisome. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the Earth's average temperature has risen by 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit over the past century. A 2013 study of 40 aquifers across the U.S. by the U.S. Geological Survey said that the rate of groundwater depletion has increased dramatically since 2000. The effects of global warming are not going unnoticed by the major food companies. We absolutely have a freshwater shortage. Um, just look across the United States. That shortage is leading PepsiCo to find new ways to conserve water, such as fixing leaks at its beverage plants and developing less energy-intensive packaging in total, the company has reduced its water use for each unit of production by 23 percent since 2006. Water utilities are also feeling the stress. People think water is free because they think it just falls from the sky, right? But actually, once it falls from the sky, we capture it, either surface water, groundwater, we treat it, then we have to push it and make sure that it's where people need it when they want it. Khan says government and industry need to take a harder look at water conservation efforts and how land is farmed. Water is no longer free for everybody. Water has a cost to it. It has an impact on our planet and ultimately our cities and our societies. What are the right incentives and regulations and rules that government leaders and industry leaders need to put in place so that water becomes a valuable resource? If we keep looking at water as something that's available to us for free, then I think we're ending up with challenges. One action worth taking, says Khan, is to make sure crops are grown in the right parts of the world. Cheerios maker General Mills says that free trade is vital. Free trade could ensure goods flow more efficiently around the world. American Waters CEO Susan Story has a simpler solution. Only 3% of water is actually potable or that, gets, uh, that we drink. Mm -hmm. So what we should do is where can we recycle water for irrigation, for cooling, for those type of things so that we can conserve this very precious resource. A resource that's essential for packaged food producers. You can have the best diet in the world. If you don't have supply, then you can't get the product in their hand. For The Street in New York, this has been Brian Sazi.